Welcome! This video is only for OS X. If you are on Windows, please skip this video now and watch the next one. Alright, in this section, you're gonna prepare your development environment to start programming with Go. I know, these are very boring stuff, but bear with me here, this will be required only once, ok? Alright, let's take a look at what you're gonna do quickly. Ok, in the first step, I'll show you how to install the code editor. In this course, I'll be using Visual Studio Code. I have tried a lot of editors so far and I've concluded that VS Code is the best among them for Go. Why? Because it's free, fast, easy and extensible and it has a very decent good support for Go. However, if you love your editor, you can skip this step as well. Then again, I strongly recommend you to use Visual Studio Code, but it's your call, of course. And after installing the code editor, you will need to install Git. If you already have installed Git, you can skip this second step as well. By the way, if you don't know what Git is, let me quickly explain it to you. Simply put, it's a version control system. It keeps track of every changes that you make to your files. You're gonna install Git because Go has a central support for it and by using Git, you can install external packages easily. You can also check out the links in the resources to learn more about it. Alright, after installing Git, in the third step, I'll show you how to install Go itself. So after you install everything that you need, we start configuring them. In this step, I'll show you how to configure Visual Studio Code for Go. And lastly, I'll show you how to get and install the source code for the course. Alright, let's get started. Alright, now open up your browser and to the address bar just type code.visualstudio.com Then click on this green button here. I'm on a Mac so it says download for Mac. And after that the download will automatically start. If it didn't start, just click on this link here to manually start it. Alright? Right now just open it up by clicking here. After it decompresses the file, just drag it to the applications folder like this. This will copy it as an application. I'm also gonna delete this downloaded file from here. Alright. And just don't open the Visual Studio code yet. You're gonna do that after we install everything, alright? Ok, now it's time to install git. Alright, I'm on my browser again. Now I'm gonna type git-scm.com and hit enter key. Alright, here, just click on the download button right here. And after that, the download will automatically start. If it didn't start, again, just click on this link here. Ok, let me run it from here. So I need to open this pkg file here. It doesn't allow me to do so. So I need to open up my security and privacy preferences. I'm gonna type security here. Then I'm gonna select this one. Alright, here I just need to select open anyway. Then click on the open button again. Okay, let me close these windows now. Alright, finally it opens up the installer. Here, click on the continue button, then just click on the install button here. Here it asks for my password, no problem. Let me enter my password. Alright, done. Click on the close button here, then just select move to trash. Ok, it's ready. And finally, it's time to install Go now. Just go to golang.org slash dl. I'm just gonna select Apple macOS. Right, it's downloading. Good. After it completes, just open it up. And then just click on this continue button here. And then click on this install button to start the installation. It asks my password again, so I'm gonna type it. Alright. Now it starts installing Go. Ok, done. Click on the close button to close it. Again, move it to trash by clicking here. Alright, that's all. You have installed everything. Ok, now open up the spotlight by pressing command and shift buttons on your keyboard and type VS here. Or Visual Studio. Select this Visual Studio code application, then hit enter. Voila, it's here. You can also open it by opening up your launchpad, then by selecting it from here, ok? Congrats, now you have installed all the necessary tools.
In the next lecture, I'm going to show you how to configure your coding editor for Go. For now, let's take a quick break here. Thank you for watching so far. See you in the next lecture. Bye-bye.